Hi, this is Jenny Eckley, and I want to show you how to take color you dye, mix it with shaving cream, and create silkscreen printing. So this is really a fun technique, just feels like magic. So what I start with is shaving cream that is just plain original is usually what I go for because then it doesn't have smells to it and it doesn't have extra gels or aloe added to it. And the key is you want to shake it up really good so that it is light and fluffy. And then you want a dry container. And I emphasize dry because when you're screening, you don't, you don't want a wet mixture or your screen will bleed, which means your screen print is larger than what your image is. So I'm going to shake it in here. And I find if I put my container horizontally and my can of uh, shaving cream this way, then I get it nice and light and fluffy. Then I take my color you dye, and color you dye is liquid like water. So the shaving cream thickens up the dye. Now the other thing it does is it does lighten the color. So I mix it up, and the advantage to using the dye is, especially on a silk scarf, the neat thing about it is it doesn't change the hand of the fabric, keeps it really light. So I can do a lot of imagery with, this, with the um, shaving cream and the dye mixture and it doesn't change the hand. Now what I often do is test out my screen on paper. So in this case I have a, just a, a lightweight paper, uh, it's a printer paper, and then on this one I have cardstock. So this is the berry screen and I have cut one so it's in pieces over here. And I'm going to go ahead and use a small leaf. So I'm going to just lay it down. Now this is the emulsion side, which is the shiny side. I'm going to lay it down on the paper. And I'm just going to take a piece of painter's tape and tape it down. And this makes a hinge. So it keeps the screen from moving as I'm brushing my dye and shaving cream mixture through it. So this, again, is a good way to test if I have too much dye in that mixture, it'll go beyond this image. And so I missed a spot there right at the bottom of that leaf, so I'm going to go back over it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on my cardstock here. And again, you want to move in one direction. I'm going to lift it up. Okay, I missed one little corner here. Okay, so to me it looks a little bit wet. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more shaving cream and then do it on my fabric. So, like I said, the neat thing is if you put too much dye, you just come back and add a little more shaving cream. If you put too much um, shaving cream, you just add more dye. All right, so I'm gonna test it again. And you can see that's much fluffier. That, so what happens is the shaving cream, uh, once it hits the fabric, the shaving cream rises to the top and the dye goes down into the fabric. So we're still on paper. So now let me go ahead and transfer and show you one on fabric. So I have my berries all lined up on my silk fabric. And I've already printed two berries here so you can see it doesn't go completely through. It's a little bit lighter on the other side. So I'm going to print another berry on here. This time I'm going to print blue. So I've taken my screen. You can see this is the emulsion side. It's a bit shiny. That's going down on my fabric. And in order to keep it in place, I'm using low-tack painter's tape. And this is important because it doesn't leave any residue on your silk. So the neat thing that this does is anchors it for you. So I'm going to brush my 
die on here. I'm going to be able to lift it up. If I've missed a part, this tape holds it in place so that I can come back and just touch up that section. So I've already mixed up a blue here with shaving cream. The important thing is not to go over it too many times because if you put too much dye in there, again, it'll spread. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to make nice clean strokes. And the other thing is you want to stroke so that you're going in the same direction each time. So I'm going to peek and see how it looks. Okay, so I've missed the bottom of this one little berry. The other neat thing about the brush is you can come back and touch up <clears throat> and it doesn't leave a hard line. So there we are. So now once this is, once I'm finished, I just take off my tape. I can reuse it again, so let's say I want to come over here and just do it again on top of this. As long as this is dry, I can print a second time. So while that one is drying, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use a fresh piece of tape. Then the other thing you want to do is be sure that you don't have any paint on your hand so you don't accidentally transfer it to your fabric. So in between, I like to just go ahead and wipe my hands with paper towels. And let's do the blue over the red. So again, nice, strong, firm strokes all in the same direction. I've got it anchored, so I'm going to peek and see what it looks like. And I've missed a little bit right here, so I'm going to come back. Okay, so the neat thing that the shaving cream does that I really like is it leaves a very soft hand. So I can do layers and layers like this and it's not going to change the hand of the fabric. Whereas if, if you use a typical silk screen paint such as the Speedball or Jacquard, anything like that, it's a very thick and heavy paint. So. When I do use the Jacquard or Lumiere on silks and I want a soft hand, then I use a screen that is more uh, just like a fine line. I took a Lumiere that's rose <clears throat> and I used my little outline berry around the blue. So this is the screen that's the outline berry. So once this is dry, I can come in and believe it or not, it's almost dry. So I'm going to pat it. And I didn't even get any dye, so I'm going to go ahead and put this screen over it and do my outline in the gold. All right, so I'm going to tape my outline screen on top of the berry that's been printed. And this time, instead of using the shaving cream, I'm going to use a metallic silkscreen paint. And in this case, I'm also using a putty knife. <clears throat> so I found when I have a heavy or thick paint, I really like using the putty knife because it pushes it through, whereas the uh, foam brush leaves a softer look. So again, I just want to go over it once. I'm going to look at my print. And yeah, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to leave it. So that's it. Hope you enjoy using uh, these ideas. And I also wanted to show you that you can test out the ideas on paper. So if you're just trying it for the first time, this is a piece of cardstock. You can try out your ideas on the cardstock first. Actually gives you a little bit more confidence so that when you go to use the fabric, you don't feel like you're gonna make a mistake. So hope you enjoyed these techniques. Hope to see you next time. Thanks so much.